Hi, this is Rafe Needleman from CNET. I'm here with Dave Rice of Senseg looking at a prototype technology that you may be seeing on your smartphones and tablets in about 12 months. What we're talking about today is a tablet that touches you back. Uh, Dave, what we have here, as I roll my fingers over this demo, this, this is smooth, this feels smooth like glass or plastic, and if I do this, I can feel these little balls that I'm rolling my finger over. You can feel it. What's happening here? Well, what Senseg does is it uses an electrostatic field to turn touch screens into feel screens. Different textures, gravel, packing material. This is sandpaper. This is weird. Certainly game designers can uh, create hidden objects that you can only find by feel. And when you feel friction, which I'm feeling right there, you let go and see if you found the hidden treasure. I could also see this being useful in, uh, say, automotive applications where you really want to keep your eyes off the screen as much as possible. Certainly being able to help, help users orient themselves on a screen and understand that they've correctly uh, executed an action is something that, that we're geared toward and is a great application of the technology. Now, you said briefly this is electrostatic. Explain to us technologically what is happening here. Are you vibrating the screen or uh, putting little ridges up or, or what? We actually create an attractive force between the finger and the screen. So, so we do modulate friction somewhat. Uh -huh. But that gives a sensory perception of physical edges, contours, and textures. So that gives the application designers an incredible range of opportunity to engage users and provide more dimension to their applications. So this is actually not moving. It's changing the friction between the, the, the user and the screen itself. That's right. There's no mechanical movement at all. So that's a big difference between what Senseg does yeah. and what traditional haptics do. All right. Now, I don't imagine this is a, co a consumer retrofit. This is something that we, you want to get baked into uh, tablets from Apple, uh, Android tablets. Uh, what's the business of this, and, and how are consumers going to get this technology? Certainly, this, this does need to be um, built into devices by manufacturers, into touch pads, into tablets, into large screen displays. Because of the nature of our technology, there's really no limit to the size of, of a device mm -hmm. that it can be deployed on. But the manufacturer needs to do that. And then we'll have uh, software programming interfaces that application developers use to add these types of effects to their products. Now, not to jinx it, but best guess, when do you think that we will see this in a consumer product? Well, we're certainly optimistic that we'll have something in the next year. Okay. Uh, that might extend to 24 months, but, uh, but we are moving quickly with some of our conversations. All right. So the company is Senseg. This is Dave Rice. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Rafe. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at cnet.com slash buzzreport.